What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video to Express. Let's take a look into how you can create an actual website with Google Sites. I'm going to be doing this really, really easy and fast and make this easy for you. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to have a Google account in order to access sites.google.com. Once I am in here into sites.google.com, you want to look out for the template gallery. The template gallery is going to be helping you to choose a few templates that were already been created by Google so you can get started by creating your actual website if you don't know how to get started, you don't know what the elements you wanted to see, the tools, the blocks and all that. So speaking about all of these elements, it doesn't matter what is the actual, if this is education, I don't, I don't want to focus into the category, I just want to focus into what are the custom elements I do want to see. So the family update is something that was generated like recently into the 2022 and three. So I love to use this because this one has really interesting blocks that I can use and totally for free. So if you don't want to use any kind of template, that's totally optional. Of course, you can just get started with from scratch. And now that you choose a template, what I wanted to do is to just get started with. So let's say for example, that I choose this template and then I wanted to work with something called Canva. Into Canva, I can use a lot of stuff, a lot of blocks that I can, let's say just to customize this, let's say that I want to go into a website here, blog, and it's going to be showing me a lot of templates that I can use to get started with. For example, this one, the blue illustration website block banner, like that. So I can use this template to customize this and then I save this as an image as a really uh, high quality image and I import this into my Google Sites. So for example, check it out the actual family update template. This one has already a header, a menu here into the upper side, uh, a really great, great image here of the menu, the header type. This one has already been, all of these uh, elements are totally free. Of course, you don't need to use all of these elements. Let's say for example, that I don't want it to see this one. So I just hit into delete this section and boom, we don't have to do a lot of stuff here. So now let's say that I wanted to change this image for this one that we have just generated. Uh, let's say right now, so we're gonna hit now into download. I want to choose an actual uh, huge size in order to import that into my actual website. So I'm gonna just save the page, go back here. I'm gonna delete the title because I have already the title inside my image. So I save my image. I hit into image here. I'm going to replace it for a new one. So I'm going to hit into upload. And in my case is this one open. And there we go. And as you can see, automatically we do have now the actual size already been changed once again. So I hit into this parents again. Let's say that I wanted to just change this for as example one, two. So there we go. This is the home section. Now let's go into pages. Inside the pages, you can see that you have different section, family photos, stories, parents tips about. This is like the menu of how it's gonna be looking your actual website. Once again, if you don't want to see like a page, for example, the parenting tips, I can just hit here and delete it. And automatically it's gonna be out from the navigation tools and I don't have anything else yet. If I wanted to add something else, here I have the plus version and I can add a new menu site, a full page and beamed or an actual new link. That totally depends on you. So um, now I'm going to hit into this new section. I'm going to just delete the page that we have just created. And I'm going to just try to edit the second page, which is the family photos. Now here I can hit into these three dots and hit into try to change this actual section. So I'm going to just double click and instead of family photos, let's say that I wanted to change this for, uh, let's go for catalog, for example. And now here into catalog, I do have this header. I don't want to see this header, we'll just delete this part. I'm going to delete this once again. And here, let's go for 2023 trending catalog. And instead of having these images, I have, of course, I can add my own catalog of products and whatever. So I can just delete an image or I can just click into an image. And instead of deleting this, I'm going to just hit into replace the image and upload your custom, uh, let's say product. 
and you can use this as let's say as a URL link for example let's say that I am selling a Samsung Android phone so I'm gonna go into my images let's say that this is the product that I am selling let's say this one I'm gonna look out for something a little bit more interesting like this I'm gonna hit into save the image once again uh, or I can just copy the image address and hit here I wanted to replace the image hit into select and I want to go for link I paste the URL and I insert the image here is this link so what I want to do now is to open and create a new page and here's gonna be just a landing page specifically for this product let's say by Samsung and I'm gonna hit now into done now into this new section of buy my Samsung product I wanted to insert all the information about this new product which is this one table of content like this and I'm gonna to start to customize this product for example let's go for Samsung uh, Android and here I wanted to full details down below and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I hit into plus select image uh, choose my link I paste my link and I insert the image so if I wanted to add even the buy button I can choose here the insert let's go for button which is actually I believe that it's gonna be here now let's say buy now instead of going with add to card because we don't we cannot do this into a Google site but we can just add a custom payment link for example here you can add your PayPal link or a Stripe account or whatever so um, for this tutorial I'm just gonna be using something called Stripe a place where I can actually receive the money and all of that for a specific product so I'm gonna hit now into the insert I have the buy now button and I put that in here and now I'm gonna go into published so I'm gonna hit now into public once again and I'm just gonna verify that my site is actually working for example here's my product here's my actual website hit into catalog and here have the 2023 trending catalog as you can see I only edited one page which is actually this one one image so I can click into this actual product and this one should be sending me directly into the actual website that we have just generated for this product but since we didn't link this product to an actual website it's no uh it's it's gonna take me nowhere so i can go back into my sites i'm gonna hit into this catalog and hit into link insert linked and i have the page by samsung apply publish the edit the changes here's the draft the current publishes and hit now into published so now I'm gonna try to reload my page so I can see the upper link now sometimes this might be taking a few seconds here so check it out my actual mouse is now changing the actual logo so I'm gonna click into the Samsung product and it took me into this new section so there you go now I'm gonna hit into buy now just to make sure that it's actually working buy now and this one redirected me directly into my Stripe section so there you have it guys this is how we can get started by creating an actual website of your site whether you wanted to use this for as a portfolio as blogging for an event as a portfolio um as an online store as we used it before a help center as you can see i do have a lot truly truly a lot of sites even we do have an actual affiliation website where we can just show products that we loved from amazon and they can just buy them so I'm going to show you how this actual product works so people just check it out what does the actual product is and they can buy them now directly from the Amazon and we can earn a few rewards just by sharing an actual product directly from Amazon this is how we can use Google site totally for free so with that being said guys we have now reached the very end of the video but you now know how to use the Google sites totally for free and you can do so much more totally for free here into Google sites so it's totally just up to you to figure out what is the elements you wanted to get started with into Google sites so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want 
want to see more great tools of the Google sites and much more. Thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully we can see you all into a next video.